Happy UWC Day! My name is Arusha Sahai and I'm the chair and co-founder of United Worldwide. The inspiration behind United Worldwide was the vast diversity of students in our campus. United Worldwide is a global UWC magazine that shares the voices of thousands of UWC students around the world. To celebrate this year's theme, Reimagine Tomorrow, we have special messages from our UWC alumni all over the globe. My name is Andreas Lerwe. I'm the Dean of St. Paul's Cathedral, Melbourne, in Australia. Hello everyone, my name is Julia. I went to UWC SEA from 2016 to 2018. My name is Telef Tulevson. I'm the CEO of the Norwegian Development Finance Institution, Norfund. Our mission is to create jobs and improve lives by investing in businesses that drive sustainable development. We also combat climate change by being a large investor in renewable energies in the developing world. Hello, I'm Yen Pao Wu, Senator for British Columbia in the Parliament of Canada. Hi, my name is Faisal Khanje, I'm an Armani entrepreneur. I am an Atlantic College graduate. Hello, my name's Jonathan McKay. I'm currently president of the University of Oxford's most international college, Kellogg College. My name is Alan Whiteside, and I am a graduate of the Waterford Kamslava UWC. I am a professor emeritus at the University of KwaZulu Natal and at the Valsili School of International Affairs in Waterloo, Canada. I was uh, at Atlantic College from 1973 to 1975. Still look at a yearbook, often that was me in those days. Uh, we actually welcomed students from the People's Republic of China uh, during that period, the first students from then as China was uh, opening up. And almost 50 years later, uh, my best friend is still um, uh, my best friend from uh, those days in Atlantic College, uh, South African Kalapachalia. So you really do make uh, friends for, for life. Um, from 2000, for five years, I, I then chaired the Board of Governors at uh, Atlantic College from 2015 to 2020 and did my best to ensure that uh, Atlantic College played a full part in the UWC movement. Uh, in fact, I really enjoyed the meetings I had with the chairs of the other UWC colleges uh, hosted by the different colleges. I still use my uh, notebook from Mostar. Being uh, UWC alumni has gave, has gave me a lot of advantages. It was an experience that has added a lot of qualities into my personality. Uh, time management, uh, self-discipline. I recognize also that we will be celebrating UWC Day on the 21st of September which is also the International Day for Peace. It is of course the pursuit of peace, world peace, peace among nations, peace among communities, peace between different regions, religions, cultures, that very much drove the creation of the UWC movement in the first place. And that underlying impetus is in many senses also the story of my own career and why I am today in the Senate of Canada. The UWC though gave me the insight, the compassion and the education to try and make sense of where we are at the moment. I feel myself incredibly lucky to have been able to go UWC. UWC really gave me was um, that I found my passion for leadership development there, particularly through their program Initiative for Peace, which runs peace conferences in Southeast Asia that we have on East Campus and on Dover Campus as well. Uh, so right now I'm entering the workforce and I'm hoping that I'm going to be working in leadership development, and learning and development, and helping leaders live healthier lives, live happier lives, and be more productive and to serve their communities uh, better through their leadership. The United World College movement shaped me in that it exposed me to an international community at a very early age. We're in a really tough time and things are very different and actually we don't know quite what is going to happen over the next little while 
with regard to this virus and the fact that it creates so much inequality. So the one piece of advice I would give to everyone is don't be too hard on yourself. Look after yourselves and then be kind to others. But I try to put it, um, you know, the ethos uh, and principles into, into practice in my college and in my work. I wrote a little, little book on, on globalization, the importance of the sort of UWC uh, mission. I sent copies to all the UWC colleges, uh, so if you're a UWC student, you should have that uh, in your library. Um, because the state of the world today, the, the fact that the very future of humanity is threatened by the, the climate crisis means that we do need the UWC ethos and movement more than ever. One big advice for you is that I hope you hold on to your UWC values. I think it's really easy to get like sucked into life, um, even at UWC, um, but particularly also beyond like when you have to pay your bills and you have to make sure that you find a job, um, make sure that you try to stay true to yourself. All of us uh, contribute to our communities and all of us live out our UWC values in different ways. And I want to encourage everyone, young and old, to find your niche in making this world a better place. What we share in common, I think, is the underlying conviction that we can make a difference. How we make a difference is entirely up to us and based on our circumstances. But I have seen so many examples of UWC students who have uh, changed circumstances in their worlds and made a difference in their lives and the lives of other people precisely because of what they learned at UWCs and because of the values that were instilled by the UWC movement. I'm recording this in lockdown here in Australia. I know how many nations are struggling with the ongoing conflicts that we're experiencing and the ongoing fallout from the pandemic. What we've found here at St Paul's Cathedral is that it is very important to maintain community and that we need to work hard to maintain community. And so, in your own engagement as students at UWCs the world over, I encourage you to be community builders. First and foremost, I think it's important that you seek to learn a specific skill whereby you can add value. Secondly, don't necessarily seek to save the world from day one. Uh, by gaining relevant experience within a traditional domain, you can later make a bigger difference within the world of mission-driven impact. And lastly, stay in touch with your UWC friends across the world, keep up the friendship and stay engaged. Good morning everyone, a very warm welcome to you from United World College Southeast Asia, the Dover campus. My name is Lizzie Bray and I am the head of school here on the Dover campus and I've just taken you on a little 360 outside of our Heritage Cafe. As I slow down though, if you look over my shoulder, for those of you who are familiar with the school, you can see the little tidy peaks there from our main hall. This is the last piece of our architecture from the original site that was built for the school in 1971, so 50 years ago. I have a very special mask, but since nobody's around, I think I'm allowed to take it off and send you a very happy UWC day and a super special 50 years of being in Singapore to everyone who's connected to UWC SEA. We have accomplished an awful lot in the last 50 years, but what's super exciting is how we're reimagining tomorrow and thinking about how we can continue to make a world where peaceful and sustainable futures are possible for everyone. Enjoy today. Wish we could see you all here live and in person. Happy UWC Day. Good morning everybody and happy UWC Day. My name is Nick Olchin. I'm the head of campus here at UWCSCA East. 
and I think it's wonderful that we're able to connect like this on such a special day. For us, it's our 50th year and we're super proud of our students around the globe with the same mission who've managed to connect us today to celebrate all the great things that happen around the movement. So wherever you're speaking from around the world, I hope you have a great UWC day. All the best from Singapore. A very happy UWC day to everyone. Have a great day. I want to congratulate the organizers of uh, United World and those of you who have put together this collection of messages from alumni, young and old, and have brought together alumni and current students at different UWCs. I want to wish you all the, the very best in your endeavors. Uh, I wish you all the, all the best. Congratulations again on this initiative and happy UWC Day. I wish you a very happy United World College Day.